Hi everyone, I'm Hanna and I'm the Communications Associate for the Farmers Market Coalition. I'm here today to walk you through our National Farmers Market Week Toolkit and all the resources that are available to you to celebrate National Farmers Market Week. National Farmers Market Week is an annual celebration of the benefits that farmers markets bring to their communities, farmers, and small businesses that rely on them nationwide. Every year, the USDA proclaims the first week of August as National Farmers Market Week, and the Farmers Market Coalition releases a toolkit full of resources for farmers market operators and community members to use to make the most of this National Farmers Market Week. This year, there aren't as many opportunities to celebrate in person, but there are lots of ways to celebrate online and share the value of farmers markets within your community. When you're looking for our toolkit, head to our website, thefarmersmarketcoalition.org, and head on over to Programs and down to National Farmers Market Week. Once you click there, you'll find a lot of different resources. To find our toolkit, click on Free Downloads, Resources, and Templates. Once you're here, you can click Download File on the Farmers Market Week Toolkit. We also have our social media toolkit that you can download separately, but it's in the main toolkit kit if you just download it together. Click download file, enter your first and last name and your email and click submit. Once you do that, the download will start and you'll get the PDF of our National Farmers Market Week toolkit. Once you open the downloaded PDF, you'll find our National Farmers Market Week branding and sponsors on the first page, a general overview of National Farmers Market Week, including the dates and the main goals of National Farmers Market Week on the second page. And you'll find our main messaging for 2020 on the third page. Obviously, this year is completely different than anything we've ever seen before in the farmers market community. For National Farmers Market Week, we wanna make sure that we're celebrating the resilience that farmers markets are exhibiting nationwide. Our three main messaging points are that farmers markets are essential businesses, farmers market organizations are local food heroes, and that farmers markets are safe. We wanna take this opportunity to highlight the health and safety protocols that farmers market operators are implementing across the nation to make sure that their communities are safe and healthy. Next up is a campaign timeline. This timeline is a general idea of how you can space out preparing for National Farmers Market Week and make sure you're on track. Obviously, you can edit this timeline and use it as a rough guide depending on what your community needs, but it's a good idea to make sure you're planning ahead so that you can strategically make the most of this time. Then we have some ideas to get you started. These are some general ideas that you can read more deeply in the toolkit when you open it yourself, but I'd like to highlight a couple of things. First up, the American Farmland Trust Farmers Market Celebration. If you click on this bright blue link here, it'll take you to the American Farmland Trust website. There you can enter your zip code or the name of your local market, and it'll take you to an option to vote for them. The farmers market with the most, most votes this year will get cash prizes. So make sure to share with members of your community and your social networks to see if you could be the most popular market in the US. Back at the toolkit, you'll see that the next thing is to visit Square on Instagram. Square is one of our main sponsors this year for National Farmers Market Week, and we're so excited to have them. They'll be running promotions on their stories for markets and farmers, so we hope that you'll participate. If you'd like to see how you'd be featured, just click on their stories right now, and you'll see lots of different ways that they're featuring small businesses around the nation and amplifying their work. We highly recommend that you give them a follow and participate in their stories and nominate some of your favorite local businesses. Next up, we have the sample email. So if you click on this sample email link, it'll open up this Google document. This is a sample email that you can send to community members, maybe your newsletter listserv that has specific language about National Farmers Market Week and how members of your community 
can support your market this year. It has some general language that you can use, so it'll make it easy to send, but also some space to enter unique information about your market and your community. You can either highlight all of this and copy and paste into another document. If you use Google Docs, you can say file, make a copy, and it'll add a copy to your Google Drive. If you're not a Google Drive person, you can also say file, download, and download as a Microsoft Word document and edit on your own computer. So you can use it in whatever format you like. This social media toolkit starts out with our branding again, and then goes into our campaign hashtags and sample posts for this year's National Farmers Market Week. The main hashtag is going to be Farmers Market Week. It's a little long, but it works really well. And please use it to tag anything you're posting leading up to and during National Farmers Market Week. Here at FMC, we use these hashtags to track posts and then repost them on our sites. So we really, really love when organizations use the Farmers Market Week hashtags so we can see what you're up to and spread your messaging even farther within our own network. We also are using Farmers Markets Are Essential. This is a great hashtag to share the really the main messages of this year's National Farmers Market Week and how important farmers markets are in local food systems. We also are using hashtag love my market to share the unique things about your market and everything that your market is doing to support your community. This could be anything from sweet pictures of local produce to exciting initiatives to increase equity in your community. Under each hashtag, you'll see some sample posts. Those are just ideas to get you started, but you could also just copy and paste directly into different social media outlets. Up till now, we've had a lot of options for copying and pasting specific language and messaging. This is important, of course, for amplifying National Farmers Market Week's key messaging points and ensuring a cohesive campaign. But you'll also want to showcase what makes your market special and unique. Those unique aspects are what will make your community feel connected to the market and want to return, shop, and support your market throughout the year. This section offers some prompts and ideas for how to generate that messaging, such as talking about your market's history, highlighting important programs, and introducing the people behind the scenes that make the market possible. After you've taken some time to reflect on them, we recommend that you go to our National Farmers Market Week communication plan. So if you click on this Google spreadsheet link, a amazing spreadsheet from the Farm Board will open up and they helped us design this planning guide for your National Farmers Market Week messaging. You can think about your central message, your focus, your relevant data points, unique history details, message content, and photo even. I'm gonna practice this together with you, so let's try one now. To open it on my Google Drive, I'm going to say file, make a copy, and say copy of National Farmers Market Week communication plan and add that to my Google Drive. That opens up a new page where I can start planning my National Farmers Market Week messaging for my hypothetical market. Let's see, my first central message is before National Farmers Market Week. So perhaps I wanna highlight the health and safety measures that we're taking so folks know that farmers markets are safe. So I'm gonna say that my central message is markets are safe. My focus area, let's see, let's go back to that list. Seems like health and safety would be relevant here and probably behind the scenes as well. All the things that market operators are doing. So we'll say health, and safety plus behind the scenes. For unique details, I'm going to say that I ran a mask contest. Obviously, this would be different for whatever your community is, but let's say here, mask contest run by volunteers. The message content could reference the safety protocols and the mask contest and how much fun we're having.
Then I'm going to think about what hashtags I can use. Since we're talking about health and safety, I'm going to say markets. Farmers markets are essential. And because we're posting during National Farmers Market Week, I'm going to say hashtag Farmers Market Week. And now my content is ready to go. And I can then think about my photo. I'm going to say photos from mass competition. And then I can even copy and paste this directly into my social media and schedule it in advance. You can look up different scheduling techniques for different platforms, but that's a really great way to plan in advance so that you can spend the week responding to comments, engaging with folks on social media, and not worrying about what you're going to post next. Back to our toolkit, if you'd like to download this as an Excel template, that option is there too. Next up, we have our press release template and our op-ed template. Both of these resources are ways for your market to reach new outlets through media and radio and blogs. This will help your market attract new audiences and create a new form of communications beyond just what you're putting out. First up, this press release template, if you click, will open a new Google Doc, which you can use to share with media. Throughout the year, you should take note of any reporters, news sites, or blogs that mention your market, local food events, sustainable agriculture, anything in that vein, and start to grow your media contacts list. When you're successful in having something picked up, be sure to reach out to the reporter and begin developing your relationship with them. As a writer gets to know you and your market, they're more likely to reach out again when the opportunity arises. So this is our press release template. And then we also have this op-ed template. You can take a peek at these and you'll notice that there's some messaging for you to use and also a lot of space for you to add your own details about your local market. Obviously the press release is going to be a pretty standard document to send out to media outlets and the op-ed is going to be a little more opinionated for you to submit to different news media outlets as well that might be accepting op-ed pieces. When you click on that link, it'll download a folder, which is a zip file. And once you open, you'll be able to access all of these amazing graphics. These graphics are great for social media, your website, emails, newsletters, and even print. These Long graphics can fit in a variety of places and are especially good for Twitter and Facebook. And these square graphics can be really fantastic for Instagram. They have some data from the pandemic as well as just some basic graphics for you to add to wherever you're communicating with your community. These talking points are an exciting list of different things that we like to highlight during National Farmers Market Week and showcases the benefits of farmers markets. These have some great links to data and research and are great to share with reporters or other individuals that want to learn more about farmers markets and their value in your community. Definitely keep this list handy so when anybody's ever asking you questions about farmers markets, you're ready to roll. Next up, we have the USDA Farmers Market Directory. If you click on this link, it'll take you to the USDA's website where every year you should be updating your farmers market information with your hours, address, and other information so that we can have a strong national database of information about farmers markets and local food systems around the nation. Our advocacy resources are here to help you engage with your local officials, gain support for farmers markets, and proclaim National Farmers Market Week in your area. First, we'll start with the FMC Advocacy Toolkit. If you click on this link, it'll take you back to FMC's website. Here you'll find a lot of different ways for you to engage with advocacy in your local area. Next up on the Advocacy Toolkit, 
our US congressional contact information and state legislation contact info. These will help you know who to contact in your area. You can click on these links and explore yourself depending on where you are. Next up, we have the advocacy guide and invitation template. If you click on this link, you'll open up here to our advocating for your market with local officials. This will help you from start to finish, invite your public officials to the market, promoting the visit, showing off, and following up. This is everything you need to engage with your public local officials from start to finish. Last up, we have our local proclamation template. You'll remember that National Farmers Market Week starts with a proclamation from the USDA. Local markets and other state officials have been working together to proclaim National Farmers Market Week in their area, and we hope you will too. Two years ago, three states proclaimed National Farmers Market Week. Last year, seven states and a handful of different counties and cities proclaimed National Farmers Market Week, and we hope to see lots more this year. To get these member-only downloads, you'll want to log into the membership dashboard, which you can do by clicking right here. Once you've clicked that, you can enter your name and your password, and it will log you right in. Then once you're at your member dashboard, you can say National Farmers Market Week resources, and this will take you to our resources this year. Our member-only resources are going to be some great infographics for you to add to your communications as well. That includes why farmers markets mini infographics and put your money where your farmer is infographics. We also have farmers market merchandise, including our iconic tattoos and postcards. We know that you'll continue to follow social distancing guidelines when applying these tattoos. You can distribute them to folks for them to take home, or they can each use a most towelette and throw it away afterwards. If you have any unique ideas for how to give out tattoos and merchandise safely, be sure to share them with us on the FMC listserv. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Resources are for folks who want to continue to dive deeper into ways to keep markets essential and safe. Health and safety webinars are featured here at the top, and really important links about inclusivity and anti-racism are featured here as well. When we talk about safety at our markets, we want to go beyond just pandemic safety and make sure that every single person in every single community feels safe welcomed and included in the joy of the market. To take the time to explore our resource library where we have more anti-racism resources as well as other topics that have been added thanks to the wonderful contributions of our member network. Scrolling down below, we also have some shareable links that are research-based for you to share when anyone asks about different aspects of the market that you feel like you need some data to back you up. These are great to share on your social media or with news outlets to have that data to back up everything that you're doing at the market. Finally, we wanna give a huge shout out to our partners and sponsors that have made all of this week possible. If it wasn't for their support, we wouldn't be able to make these resources and have a collective campaign around National Farmers Market Week. Thank you to Square, Farm Credit, American Farmland Trust, Farm Aid, the Farm Board, and the Food Liability Insurance Program for their wonderful financial and technical support in developing these resources. We are so excited to celebrate National Farmers Market Week with our sponsors, as well as all of our amazing markets around the nation. We hope that you will take the time to share with us all of the amazing plans that you've developed. So we hope that you'll go back to our homepage, go to our National Farmers Market Week page again. And once you have downloaded your toolkit on our free resources page, we hope that you'll fill out this form to share with us what your plans are for National Farmers Market Week. We know it's a really difficult and challenging year and we are so impressed by the constant resilience of our community. Thank you all for listening, and we can't wait to see how you celebrate. Happy National Farmers Market Week!